I'm very happy to introduce our new EMC laboratory facility to you today. This lab will be in service starting from April 2011. From now on, we can cover more than 90% of the EMC directive, verifying whether your products comply to the EMC requirements. What you see here is the setup of our in-house EMC lab. Welcome to DECRA Certification Hong Kong Limited. I'm very happy to introduce our new EMC laboratory facility to you. Let's join me and have a closer look at our advanced equipment. This is the double shield room designed for emission testing. It's designed to isolate the interference from the outside surroundings such as mobile phone signals. In here we perform various kinds of emission tests like the disturbance power test, the mains conducted emission test and the discontinuous disturbance test, as well as the conducted RF emission test. This 6 meter track is for the disturbance power test. It allows for measuring the emission radiated from the power cord within a frequency range of 30 to 300 megahertz. The absorbing clap couples the radiated signal to the EMI receiver. This setup over here is used to verify how your electronic products affect other electronic devices through the AC power cord. This so-called mains conducted emission test measures the emitted noise in a frequency range from 9 kHz to 30 MHz. The Leeson captures the emitted noise and couples it to the EMI receiver. In addition to the emission test in the double shield room, we furthermore perform radiated electromagnetic testing according to the EN 55015 standard. This test applies to all lighting equipment with an operating frequency of more than 100 Hz such as electronic ballasts for fluorescent lamps and energy-saving lamps or electronic transformers for incandescent lamps. This testing equipment is called the triple loop antenna. In order to comply to the EMC directive, it is necessary on the one hand to identify the electromagnetic noise generated by your electronic products, the emission. And on the other hand, it is also necessary to determine the effect of electromagnetic noise on your product. That's the so-called immunity. Electromagnetic discharge is one form of interference that might influence the operation of your electronic device. You might have experienced electronic discharge yourself before, trying to open a door of a car and you got a little electronic shock. This might have little influence on the function of your product but it might also cause this normal function. This ESD testing room is designed according to the EN 61000-4-2 standard. Apart from the ESD room, this area is for a series of immunity testing, such as the electrical fast transit test, the EFT, surge test or the voltage dip test. The EFT is to simulate switching operation the search test is to simulate lightning and the voltage dip test is to simulate the sudden drop of voltage due to an unstable electrical network. Let's have a look at our performance test room. This equipment is used for the Swiver Connection Endurance Test. During normal use, the appliance at the Swivel connection is turning around and we have to ensure that after 20,000 times of turning, the appliance is still fit for further use and also fulfills the safety requirements. This is our flexing tester. Appliances with a supply cord that are intended to be moved during operation should be constructed in a way that the supply cord is accordingly protected against excessive flexing. After 10,000 times of flexing, the test should not result in a breakage, loosening or even damage to the cord and the cord guard. 
This equipment is called the tumbling barrel tester. Appliances with pins to be put into socket outlets shall have enough mechanical strength to resist dropping and other things. Depending on the weight of the appliance, they have to be able to drop 50 or 100 times without breaking. In here we perform the cordless kettle coupler endurance test. The appliance kettle shall be constructed to withstand the stress occurring during normal use. It has to be lifted and placed down again 10,000 times and afterwards should still be used for normal operation and also fulfill the safety requirements. This is the endurance tester for the toaster switch mechanism. The toaster switch mechanism has to work satisfactory for at least 500 times. After the test, the power switch mechanism has to be fit still for further use and also fulfill the safety requirements. This equipment is used for the internal wire insulation endurance test. Different part of an appliance that can move shall not cause undue stress to electrical components or internal conductors. After flexing for 10,000 times, neither the appliance nor the electrical components shall be damaged. The appliance shall still be fit for further use and ensure all safety requirements. We at DECRA Certification Hong Kong Limited provide a one-stop service solution for all your testing, inspections, auditing and certification needs. DECRA on the safe side.